A bit of news coming in from West Ham. West Ham United have got themselves a new director of football, a new sporting director, whatever you like to call the role. He will start his work in January, take up his role in January, and it's uh, West Ham legend Mark Noble. Noble is a man. West Ham delighted to announce that Mark Noble is to return to the club. I didn't know he'd gone in the role of sporting director. Uh, I've just spoken to somebody at the top of the club and said it's really more director of football, whatever. He'll start his post on January the second uh, he will have a whole variety of responsibilities which will include academy development player recruitment and player and staff well-being that's one of your favorite words yeah, isn't get it? martin Keown to come and join him can't he yeah um an interesting appointment i mean um david moyes talked about the spirit of mark noble being missed in the dressing room we've seen instances of mark noble behind the scenes where he has appeared to be someone of great substance, you know, whether we've got pictures of him sweeping out the changing room or, or generally being a positive influence and a, pro and a culture setter. I have to confess I didn't particularly enjoy or appreciate his observations about a year ago when he talked about the sale of a particular player um, and was very, I, I felt, um, disrespectful to the decision that was made by a variety of people and caused a little bit of contention because him lending weight to the observations that the West Ham fans felt yeah. about Golden Sullivan wouldn't have been particularly helpful. I remember that. But, I do, Dana, but, I yeah. do, but that's, that, that, that's then, this is now. I do think that someone that seems to have the standards that he's got, I do hate the terminology a long servant at the football club because it wasn't as if you were doing it for nothing. You would, you would have been well remunerated and given a very long career. Yeah, but he could have gone elsewhere. And perhaps he could, and perhaps he, he wasn't being offered the same things as he was offered at West Ham. But what I do like about this is that he does appear to straddle an outlook of an individual that goes back to an age when apprentices learnt their jobs and earned their space in the world, working culture, criticism could be something you levied at, alongside the new generation of footballer that are a little bit different. So he'll brace that quite well. If he works well with David Moyes, it's a strange one because to be a sporting director, if you're wanting to be an elite football club, then you need to make elite appointments. And to make elite appointments, you need to be steeped in experience, know what you're doing, and have a very, 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 uh, you know, uh, broad knowledge of all the roles that you're taking. It would appear he's going to learn on the job. So that means that West Ham aren't going to get a belt and braces sporting director from the outset. They're going to get somebody that understands the football club very well, understands the values of it, gets somewhere with David Moyes. David Moyes gets sacked. We'll see how that plays out. Right? There's no reason for David Moyes getting sacked, by the way. I'm just saying circumstances change inside football clubs. But he will have been part of the youth development system at, at West Ham, so he'll know what that looks at. He'll be the captain of the club, so he'll know what standards the club should want and will want to have. Um, he strikes me in some of the interviews that I've seen him do as being quite a rounded individual. So with all those things in mind, there's an investment into him. There's an investment into him. Yeah. They're investing in, 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 in Mark Noble to take a sporting director's role. That if it is a sporting director's role, it's a very big job. It's not a small job. It's not. It's not jobs for the boys. Or player a proper, sp a proper yeah. sporting a sporting director's role sets the pattern for how a football club operates with and without individual managers. It's about how the football club stacks up from what the academy does through to who runs the academy, to what it produces, to what players they buy, to how they scout, to how the first team is supplemented, to which managers they employ. It's a very big job. It's a big if job. It's a, if it's a proper sporting director job, but sure. I, I can't say anything other than will be. It'll be fascinating to see how he develops. And well done. To, yeah. to both the club and him for wanting to make a move that looks like it has some merit in it. Well, I I, I thought you, you would appreciate what he's done, and I'm sure you do when I, when, when I tell you more about that in a second. Noble, I mean. But also, Simon, this has got the backing of everybody at the top of the house at West Ham. Sullivan Gold rated the lot, but including Daniel Kretinsky, uh, this Czech billionaire businessman and lawyer who uh, is now a director and major shareholder at West Ham United. He's thrown his weight behind it as well. But Simon, I would have thought you would be impressed by the fact that earlier in the summer, Mark Noble travelled to the US and completed an entertainment, media and sports business leadership course at Harvard. No. Uh, and he'll continue to spend time working on a, a number of personal projects as well as uh, working in his role okay, at West Ham well, United. Okay, well, so, I mean, here's a guy who's trying to give, give the best version of himself. And that's right. I mean, if you're saying to me he's gone and studied a degree for three years and learned his trade and come back as a fully rounded individual in all aspects of the commerciality of the field he's going into, I'd say that's very impressive. If he's gone on to a course in America for a week, I'm going to say, OK, well done you for doing it, but I'm not going to be bowing over with a great deal of level of, of being impressed, am I? Yeah. What I would be we're interested to see is if Mark Noble is going to start the blueprint, which seems to be being set by people like Edwin van der Zaar. We've seen recently that John Terry has got aspirations. If we're going to see football people 
morph into administrators in football, I really do hope it's because they're good enough and not because it's job for the boys. And I'm not suggesting that Mark Noble fit, fits that category. I'm saying that there is now a leaning, because we, we do know that football players now want to run the game and they want to be at every single table. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as it's prostru- prostru- um, um, productive and constructive involvement rather than Martin's view of the world, which is basically to tell everyone what they don't want to do. Yeah. But I'm not suggesting that Mark Noble will fall into that category. I think Moyes likes him. I think Moyes has, 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 has remarked upon the fact that the spirit of Mark Noble is missing from West Ham. Yeah. So if he feels this is a valuable appointment and someone that he's going to be pulled into or alongside, it'll be an interesting change in their relationship. Do, as well, do you think it? this creates a better connect, if you like, between fans and, and directors? To have someone like Noble, who they, they, they watch week in, week out in the field of play, now in the boardroom? Well, yes, it will do prima facie. If Mark Noble goes and recruits a bunch of rubbish players and the team starts suffering, he will cop it just as much as anyone else does. Yeah. So with that in mind, while Sullivan and Gold um, don't have a great relationship with West Ham fans, and some of that's unfair and some of it's entirely justified... But they might listen to Noble more than they would to Sullivan, Gold or Brady. Well, Mark's not going to tell them what season ticket prices they should put out, is he? He's not going to tell them how they should make the stadium configure better to beat the fans' expectations. He's going to tell them the things that they probably want to hear anyway. Yeah, but look at what Peter Cech did during the height of uh, the the breakaway Super League. Peter Cech went out and spoke to the fans, got right in amongst the fans, the uh, the Chelsea fans who were protesting uh, against the Super League. Mark Noble will be yeah. one of the fans as well as being in the boardroom himself. Yeah, I mean, I sound like somebody that, that that's negative all the time, but I think sometimes people get attributed with far more things than they actually do. Well, you picked out that thing about Dean Ghana, and yeah, that was maybe something that Mark Noble maybe or maybe doesn't regret, that he, he went on social media and said, no, we don't like the well, idea of this guy it. getting, getting sold. Lisa Langley's a West Ham fan. Look, we're delighted that Noble's back at the club. Simon, Noble's been dedicated to the club for over 20 years, and you want to focus on one indiscretion? No, I don't. I wanted to bring Is it, it to possible the- for you to be positive about Noble? Noble doing no, what he's going no, to no, do. No, no, if you listen to... I, I do wish people would listen to what people actually say rather than working out the things they don't like and then re-representing them. I turn around and one, listen to one instance. I then went to tell off what a positive influence he was, how we see him sweeping out dressing rooms, how he gets on with David Moyes, how David Moyes... Did they miss all that? Or did they not hear the, that particular part because they were too busy focusing on the one thing they don't like? Pay attention. Not difficult. I gave Mark Noble lots of praise and I gave it context. There is also a question to be asked and answered. If West Ham want to be an elite side in the Premier League, do they employ the best sporting director or do they go back to someone that was a footballer that once played for them? And if he's a footballer that once played for them that can become an excellent sporting director, then what an inspired choice. Okay. If he's a footballer that can't become an excellent sporting director and doesn't do that, what a poor choice. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.